it's a from let's get inky and today i have a pin haul something a bit different if you didn't see my melbourne haul video where i got a whole heap of um, stationary things and arty things and magazines and all good creative stuffs uh, I'll put that in the description down below and you can see where I have these ones from so my hubby started a pin collecting collection and actually I'll go show you his so my husband has been collecting pins for quite some time he's inky beard over here on YouTube and he's just started his second case because he's got so many so he's been collecting them for a while. He gets a lot of his in uh, Loot Crate, which is a monthly subscription box of nerdy goodness, and also just picks them up when he can. And when we went to Melbourne recently, we found these ones and it started something peeps. I'm going down a pin collecting spiral. So I thought I'd show you the ones that I've got that I want to add uh, to here. I found most of these through Instagram, I searched um, enamel pins and pin community and pin game. I think they were the hashtags that I used and I followed a whole heap of people um, and these were some of my favorites. So the first ones are from Oh Jessica Jessica and I had to get this one because it looks so much like Poppet, our bunny rabbit. Uh, and I just thought it was really, really sweet. And I like the ones when they have two because I just feel like it gives it a bit more security. Um, so there's that one. And then I had to get the redhead girl, of course. Then these ones are really sweet. They're from Nutmeg and Arlo, which I believe is from somewhere in the UK, I think. Um, so there's a sweet little fox and then an inky quill. Couldn't not get. And it's got like a... It's like glittery, so that will be fun to use. I It's interesting the size difference sometimes between them. Um, I do prefer, I think, the larger ones, but these cute little ones are, will be nice to kind of fit in between um, bits and pieces. And this is one of my Inky Quill pouches as well, which is on my website. Uh, this next one I'm sharing with Aaron, and it's from... I has Cupquake and it's a player one and a player two so they're two separate ones and I thought it would be cute if we both had one because we're nerdy and lame like that <laughs> uh, and then this one is one that I got from Typo here in Australia and it just says spent the entire day procrastinating which if you know me well that's a that's a, an award that I can definitely win very easily um, so and it was turquoise so I couldn't resist I think that was one of the cheapest ones some of these ones run anywhere from 16 to 25 dollars this one was quite expensive I think it was in Australian dollars I think it worked out as like 48 dollars I think um, so they are quite pricey um, but make sure you you shop around and don't forget to change it into your country's currency just to check and see if shipping's included then i also got this one from sasha ferg art and i think i want to try and collect as many foxes as i can foxes are my favorite animal um, along with bunnies and so i'm always on the hunt for foxes and buns and then the last one i got was actually from a um, scrapbook.com scrapbooking order that i made and they were giving these out for free and it says I love crafting but it kind of looks like I like charting because of the font that they've used I don't know if the font's the best one for that um, but I do love crafting not so much charting but I do love crafting and so that one will make a nice addition and then the other one that I got this was probably the the best packaged I guess you could say I thought there was a lot of um, consideration that went into how these were packaged and they're from Dorarium 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 I don't know how you say it um, but I got this one let's see if I can focus on there that says Alfredo and I do like some pasta every day not every day but I, I would happily eat pasta every day if I could uh, so I had to get that one and these ones are very like thick and chunky they're really good quality um, and then this one was really sweet it was a sparkler and I do love sparklers and then they chucked in this one for free which I thought was really cool it's like some little 
cherries with a bandana around them and a sticker so that will be um, fun to use in my probably my traveler's notebook so they are the new additions to my pins I thought I'd film this little extra um, video today I do have another haul coming from uh, my birthday trip down to oh, I can't say the name of the bookshop I can't pronounce it I'll pop it here um, but there's a bookshop in Sydney that we went to and I got six more pins so I'll include that in that haul um, but let me know if you do buy pins where your favorite places to get them or Instagram accounts that you like to follow um, but I'm really excited to make this thing grow and I am considering moving these onto a pin board in my craft room I don't know I don't know. I'm going to put them on here for now and then see where we go. Alright guys, I'm going to get busy pinning and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! And I'm just popping on at the end of this video to show you a couple of extra pins that I got for my birthday. Uh, these are from my father-in-law and this one says I wonder, which is really cute. A little person, a little metal back pin. I'm not sure where they're from but I thought I would show you and in case you are of a similar um, nerdy picture book type writery kind of interests as I do. Uh, this one's really cute, it's a double one so it's got a little mug, I'm going to pretend it's tea in there not coffee and a little blue typewriter which I love, I love these two and then of course I I love the hangry, hungry caterpillar. I was going to say hangry caterpillar. He probably was feeling a bit hangry by the end of um, his journey. But I, of course, used to be a primary school teacher and picture books are a huge part of my life. And so when my father-in-law saw this one, he got it for me straight away. And they're two separate ones, um, which is really, I think this idea is really cute. I would even like to like wear this one as <laughs> jewellery. Uh, and then the last one, similar along the same lines as that one, is from Where the Wild Things Are. You can see Max and the Monster. And I just think that these are really thoughtful and a, a great addition to my pin pencil case. So now I'm going to head off, get these onto my pin pencil case, and then I'll see you in the next video. But, oh, don't mind the doodles on my hand. I was on the phone on hold for a while and I got bored and drew on my hand because because I couldn't be bothered to get paper. Alright guys I'll see you in the next video. Bye!